In this video, you will learn how to generate this perceptual map or positioning map in Microsoft Excel. I have generated this chart using this set of data. It is the data about the customer perception about different brands of uh, milk. You can see here, first column shows the brand of milk. Second one shows the quality, which is displayed on x-axis. Second, third column shows the packaging, which is which are displayed on y-axis. And fourth column shows the overall acceptability of these brands. And these are displayed in terms of the size of these circles. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data. So firstly, we will go to insert. And in insert, you will find the option of charts. And under chart, there is scatter charts. And here, there is the option for bubble chart. So for that purpose, select firstly select any empty cell, then go to this option to insert a blank graph, 3D bubble chart. I will place it here. Now go to format and I will size it size 4.5 by 4.5. Now right click, go to select data option. In select data option, go to add series name, first brand. In X value, select the quality score of that particular brand. In Y axis value, select the packaging score of first brand. And in bubble size, select the overall acceptability score. Click on OK and follow similar procedure for all these brands. Click on second brands. In X axis value, select the quality score of second brand. In Y axis value, select the packaging score. And in bubble size, select overall acceptability score. Click on OK. Then again, add third brand x axis value in y axis value select the packaging score and in overall acceptability score select this one click on ok then again add fourth brand name the score of fourth brand in y axis packaging score of fourth brand and in bubble size, the acceptability of fourth brand. Click on OK. Now again, click on Add and select last one. X axis value, select quality score. Sorry. Select quality score. In Y axis, select packaging score of that brand. And in overall acceptability, I will select this cell, click on OK, then again OK. Select vertical axis, right click, go to format axis option. And here you will find the option of horizontal axis crosses, select axis value and write the Middle value, you can see here minimum value is 6, maximum is 12. So I will write 6. Now write this horizontal axis and write the middle value of it. You can see here its minimum value is 0, maximum is 12 and go to axis value option and write 6. Now close this one. Again select this. Right click. Go to format axis option. And go to fill and line option. In line option select solid line.
select black red color and width 2 pt scroll down and here you will find the option of begin arrow type select this one begin arrow size select this one end arrow type select this one and end arrow size select this one similarly select other axis and format similar and follow similar steps firstly solid line red color 2 pt scroll down and here you will find the option of begin arrow type select this one size of begin arrow type this one end arrow type this one and size of end arrow type this one now close this one select circles right click go to format data series and here i will go to effect option in effect you will find the option of 3d format and from 3d format i will select this one which is the hard edges similarly select other circle and select hard edges select third circle and select hard edges select fourth one and from here select hard edges fifth one select hard edges now close this one click on this vertical axis and format it black bold and 11 I will select 10 copy this format and click here now go to plus sign which is chart element option and uncheck grid lines to remove these grid lines and select data labels select these data labels right click go to format data label and here you will find the option of values from cell firstly you can see here this circle indicate which brand you can see here it indicate nestle brand and so select values from cell and select nestle click on ok and i don't want y-axis values and ladder lines so i will uncheck this option similarly this circle indicate all per so select select this cell sorry go to format data labels and select values from cells firstly see it indicate all per so i will select all per in data label range click ok and i will uncheck y values and ladder lines similarly select this one you can see here it indicate halib values from cell and halib click on ok uncheck y values and ladder lines select data label of fourth one values from cell firstly it indicate fresh if you place your cursor on that particular circle then it you can see here that this circle indicate which brand i will uncheck y values and show letter lines 
and the last one shows Noorpur. I will select data labels values from cell and in label range I will select Noorpur. Click on OK. Uncheck Y values and letter lines and I will close this one. Now select this. Change it color to white. Bold. 12. Copy this format and apply on others. Now go to this plus sign and check access titles. This axis indicate poor quality. low quality and high quality. Similarly go to insert and here I will insert a text box. Right click, and sorry, I will try it again. Place your cursor here. When four hour arrow appeared, right click, go to format, object, and here you will find the option of text option. From text, go to this last option, which is text box and from here you can select text direction i will select this one i will close this one and it indicate high quality like this one Now go to format, shape format and from here I will select shape fill no fill and shape outline, no outline, select here and I will adjust it. Now this one indicate packaging. I will write good packaging and bad packaging. Firstly I will write here bad packaging. Select this one. Bold black color and 12 copy format and apply on it now i also want to insert a label here go to insert text text box insert a text box text box here and write good packaging now go to shape format and select no fill 
and no outline now place it here and go to home black color bold and 12 Now copy this format and apply here. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.